Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you a tech tip video on ASHRAE and IAQA. In July 2014, two organizations dedicated to indoor air quality, ASHRAE and IAQA, announced a merger. In this tech tip video, I'll quickly recount the history of each organization and describe the nature of the merger. The organization ASHRAE was previously called the American Society of Heating, Refrigerating, and Air Conditioning Engineers. Although today, ASHRAE is not an acronym for the longer name, the organization is simply called ASHRAE. ASHRAE first started as the American Society of Heating and Ventilating Engineers, or ASHVE, in 1894. Through the years, they added air conditioning to their name and combined with the American Society of Refrigerating Engineers in 1959, but indoor air quality has been an important part of ASHRAE from the beginning. It published its first ventilation standard in 1973 and has been updating and adding new standards ever since. Well, that's ASHRAE. How about the IAQA? IAQA is a much younger and smaller group. It started in 1995 as a for-profit organization and was reestablished in 1998 as a non-profit. The organization experienced rapid growth in conjunction with public interest in indoor air quality. In 2005, IAQA members voted to unify with two other industry organizations, the Indoor Environmental Standards Organization, which is now a subsidiary, and the American IAQ Council, which is now called the American Council for Accredited Certification, or ACAC. The result of the unification was that the membership of all three organizations went to the IAQA and the certifications went to the ACAC. In July of 2014, it was announced that IAQA will become a part of the ASHRAE organization after a period of due diligence. IAQA will operate independently under ASHRAE's organizational umbrella. The IAQA will maintain its own identity, leadership, and budget. Exciting things are happening with the IAQA. If you'd like to become a member, visit iaqa.org. You'll find an application and a long list of membership benefits on the website.